Before I start, I personally like to apologise for not being with you last Thursday. It was due to unforeseen circumstances, I was not able to make it. Today I'm going to talk to you about a problem um, with us in college life at the moment, sleep deprivation. So, are you one of those college students who stays up all night watching Netflix or just staying up late for the sake of it or drinking yourself into a coma? Yeah, okay, I'm guilty, I've done that before. Have you thought, actually, this is affecting my health? Well, today I'm going to talk to you about the common causes and effects of sleep deprivation. For starters, what is sleep deprivation? It's a condition, either chronic or acute, where you're not getting between seven and eight hours sleep per night. So, how many students in the room right now get between seven and eight hours sleep a night? Please raise your hands. Okay, two of you. Okay, um, how many of you get between seven and eight hours sleep regularly a night? Okay. Well, most college students get between six hours and six and a half hours sleep per night. Well, you're thinking, I get more than that. Well, oversleeping is also a problem. It can lead to diabetes, heart disease, and even death. So try and keep a regular sleeping pattern. So first I'll talk about the problems with sleep deprivation. So when you wake up in the morning at 7.55 for your 8 o'clock class, are you there in presence or actually in person? By I mean presence, sitting at the back with your hood up, your eyes look like you've had your head dipped in chlorine all night and struggling to keep awake. Or there being present, present where you're sitting at the front being attentive for detail and actually doing your work. So here are a couple of problems with sleep deprivation. Weight issues. Waking up at 7.55 before your 8 o'clock class thinking, you know what, I haven't got time for breakfast. It's going to impact on your weight. Snacking afterwards, your weight's going to be up and down. It's not good for your health. Secondly, grumpiness. Yeah, we've all had this before. You wake up with two hours sleep and think, Jesus Christ, I can't be bothered to say. You're grumpy, everyone's getting on your nerves. Anything they do, you want to smack them around the chops. Motivational levels. So when you wake up, on two, three, four, five hours sleep, you're not going to be motivated. So ask yourself the question, why are you paying $36,000 a year to be here and you're not going to be motivated? Selfishness, you must be thinking, how is selfishness involved with sleep deprivation? Well, when you get behind the wheel of your car after getting minimal sleep, you're not putting yourself at risk, you're putting others at risk as well. Be respectful. And also, people don't know about sleep deprivation, what is one of the main problems. Health issues surrounding sleep deprivation. How can you expect to wake up in the morning on two hours sleep and have your body fresh and ready to go? It doesn't happen. You're going to get joint problems. You're going to get muscle spasms. You're going to have a lack of energy. Secondly, the cause of sleep de deprivation. Financial stress. So you're worrying about when's the next meal going to come from or, in some of your cases, when's the next bottle of Pinnacle going to come from. Your occupational stress. You're already working, you've got your school work. Do you actually need a part-time job? You may think, okay, the 30 bucks a week keeps me going, but you've got to think about it. At the end of the day, you're here to learn and you need to look after yourself. The juggling act, the hardest one for students. As I just said, looking after your health, looking after your work, your school and your social life. One of the other causes of sleep deprivation, I have it a lot, napping during the day. I love a nap, sleeping in the afternoon, but the problem is actually napping is worse for you because you actually wake up more tired. If you're going to have a nap, sleep between 26 and 32 minutes and that's a correct power nap time. Okay. Okay. Solutions or compromises. I understand that people won't have to do, or might have some of the problems, might have some of the problems I've talked about but solutions or compromises, I'm going to try and relate to everyone because obviously some people work, work nights, I understand that you need to put food off your table and your sleeping pattern is going to be mucked up. But here are a few solutions or compromises. So, some athletes in the room might understand where I'm coming from. You can't just walk out on a soccer field, do your boots up and expect to play. It doesn't happen. You need time to prepare your body mentally and physically. So, not like when you go to bed, you need to relax, unwind, and be prepared. So, wash your hands, brush your teeth, listen to some music, relax yourself, and hopefully that routine should make you to go to bed quicker. Also, treat yourself, have a good mattress. There's no point sleeping on a bad mattress and waking up having a bad back thinking, for God's sake, what did I do last night? 
Also, clean bedding is key. You don't want to wake up in a dirty, smelly bed. You want to wake up in a bed, nice and fresh, and also, lads, it's good for the ladies. Put your mind at rest. Try and relax. I know people have a lot of problems, problems in life, but you've got to think, OK, I need my sleep here. I need to look after my body. Another thing, once you, once you, when you wake up in the morning, once you're up, get up, crack on, do the business in the day. One thing for you, stress is temporary, but GPA is permanent. Okay, there's a few facts for you. Police reported last year 100,000 crashes were due to fatigue. 1,500 deaths, costing us, the taxpayer, a whopping £12.5 billion. Pounds. I'd set that sinking for a couple of seconds. Being up for 22 hours has the same impairment on your body as being legally drunk. So, how do we not know about this? How is there not enough information talking about sleep deprivation and the detrimental effects it has on us and our health and others around us. Is that your slide you want? Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Today I've, talk, I've informed you about what sleep deprivation is, the problem with sleep deprivation, the causes of sleep deprivation, and the solutions or compromises to sleep deprivation. Because I know as individuals, different things are going on in life. So one thing I want, to take, want you to take away from today's class is one thing you cannot buy in life is your health. So look after your body, treat it as a temple, and take away a few of the things I've had for you to say today. Thank you very much.